What's up, y'all? White Hollywood here. Yeah, I'm back. Not fully back, but I'm back. <laughs> Going on four weeks now. This week will be the fourth week with my knee injury. Um, yes, I am on the bike. I'm not supposed to be on the bike. I understand that. I'm not riding in the dirt. I'm only riding on the street. My leg ain't doing nothing crazy. I'm in a brace over here. Um, Doc said I do need to get some movement in my leg and start doing some more things. And uh, I lost a little definition in my, my right leg from just not using my leg as much and being off my feet uh, for like two, two and a half weeks. Uh, this, this third week I was improving a lot and got a, got a lot better movement, was able to steady walk, just not fast. Uh, so I figured why not come out and try to get on the bike and just do a little bit of street riding. I'm not going to stand up, do nothing crazy, go in the dirt, do nothing. I'm just doing a little street riding, y'all, so don't freak out. I'm not doing nothing crazy uh, down here by the lake. Um, we did have to do some work on the bike. Thanks to my buddies that race, they worked on my bike for me while I was hurt and did a few things. Uh, I had some old bars that I had, some Pro Taper CR High contours we threw on here because other bars bent from the wreck. Was able to straighten the, the bar risers out pretty close to straight. They're barely off, so I think I'm gonna just ride with these for a while until they get completely bad, but I'm gonna order a set from Gary uh, whenever the new, uh, whenever the skid plates come in, cause I got a whole bunch of stuff I ordered from them, but the skid plates wasn't in yet. So I was waiting on those to do an order all at once. Um, also put some um, Acer Bis, uh hand guards on here, not full wraparounds. I'm not a big fan of the full wraparounds. I've had them on a couple bikes. Yes, they will save your fingers, but I've also had problems where I ride a lot of gnarly stuff, y'all, and they, they, they bend. And once they bend, your throttle gets stuck and it's hung and they're a pain in the ass. So I actually like these. These are pretty sturdy, man. I'm not gonna lie. They look like they'll protect your hand from a pretty good amount, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Um, what else? Oh, I got the four degree timing key installed uh, from Joe Henner Motorsports. Uh, my buddies installed that for me. Shout out to them, thanks for them for doing that. I did watch him do it and it was a pain in the ass on my bike. That damn pooler, and we used a, I mean, a really good impact gun electric uh one that you plug in the wall like a strong strong one and it took everything to get that flywheel off i mean they had that flywheel so tight on there i don't even understand how they torqued it that that much i mean it was ridiculous um but we did get it off get the flywheel installed um and I have to say, I, I notice a little bit of a, a big, a, a little bit of a difference. I do. It, for 20 bucks, I mean, it's not a bad upgrade. Um, is it a huge difference? I would say no, but there is a difference. And is it worth the $20 upgrade? Yes. Um, it, it just the rev range is a little better now. Uh, I notice so. Uh, it's just, there's kind of power throughout the whole red rev range, a little bit more. Um, also, we installed a 12 tooth uh, sprocket on the front. I geared the bike down more. It does suck for road. Um, the RPMs go a little higher. I'm about 7.5 to eight at like 60 miles an hour, I think it was. We'll test it here in a second. Uh, but for dirt, I don't plan on riding that much street anymore. I'm just going to be strictly doing dirt, uh, with this bike. Cause I'm thinking I'm about to buy a, a street bike, but, um, uh, for dirt, I think this bike's going to be amazing. I don't know. I haven't got to try it yet. I've only got to ride it on the road right now, but first and second gear, uh, is way shorter and pulls all actually all the way up to third. It pulls way better 
uh, which I like, which is what I needed for when I'm hill climbing in second gear. I need to be able to be in second and third gear and get up some of them hills a little better. So yeah, that uh, 12 tooth on the front made a big difference. And she pops a wheelie easy now. I mean, look at that. You pull the throttle, she pulls up. Second gear will do it. Second gear too, right there. She does it. I'm not trying to be too crazy right now, y'all. Uh, my knee. So, um, but 12 tooth, man. Oh yeah, it's got a lot more pull on the bottom. More torquier, which I think is going to be great for the trails. I do got some IRC VE33 tires um, that need installed, but we're going to do those uh, when I get back to dirt right. And I'm not going to do it right now. I'm just going to wear these tires out. And, uh, and yeah, we're going to throw those on. I got a VE33, not the gummy edition, just the regular for the rear. And a VE35 for the front, uh, the F, the Vulcan or whatever, whatever you call it. Um, but, uh, oh, and I did, we tuned the carb a little more. We went up to a 48 Pilot from the 45 on the Pilot Screw. And I think I'm about a one turn, one turn out, I would say, on the pilot screw, which uh, made a big difference. Um, I felt like with the 45, she still had a little bit of a bog and she was popping again. When it gets really hot, we are starting to get cooler weather starting next week. So um, we're getting down in the low 90s and 80, uh, high mid high 80s now and at night we're got some 50 degree nights uh, next week which is uh, amazing but um yeah bikes bikes just needed a little TLC y'all from the the damage from the wreck so these carburetors man they are so finicky you have to get them just right with the pilot screw man and the air fuel mixture but once you get it right the bikes run amazing they're very finicky and it took a lot of testing but i'm just gonna stick with this carb i think i got it dialed in this is as good as it's gonna get it's running good no need i figured ah, i don't really want to waste five six hundred bucks on a smart car man it's running good um i would like it for the temperature change and the tip over sensor and if i take it out of state it would be nice but i just don't know how much out of state riding i'm gonna do so uh, i'm kind of iffy on that right now plus i'm about to get a i might be buying a street bike so uh i'm gonna save the money i'm down here by the lake just cruising around um, these bars definitely are way different than those, uh, twin wall, like clone bars or whatever those KTM or those Brenthal or Pro Taper twin wall, however you call them. I did like those bars. Um, but once I've, uh, ride with these bars now, I realize the wider, lower, it's a little bit lower than those twin walls. My turning is better. Uh, with those twin walls, I felt like they were just kind of like stiff when turning. But uh, these are my gold ones from my old bike on my rally that got stolen. Um, I'll let you know what I think about them on this bike once I get in the dirt, but just on the street, I like them already. Uh, what I did like about the other bars though, is when you stand, the standing position, they were just perfect for me when standing up. Like now these bars feel a little lower. I'd say the other bars were about a half inch or an inch higher. Um, so, but these aren't bad for standing. It's, it's, it's barely noticeable, but uh, 
yeah that's the difference between the bars and those other bars definitely <coughs> i noticed how they, they got that flex these bars don't flex as much um i can tell that just on the street um I definitely like this gearing though even third gear just pulls man with the timing key and the the gearing change man she just pulls i tell you what if you did a a 12 50, a 12 on the front and like a 49 or 50 on the back man in the trails this thing would lug up third uh up hills in third gear it would be a strictly bike for dirt but you couldn't ride it on the road but but uh it would be nice it might almost be gear too low probably a 1249 would be <coughs> pretty yeah probably a 1249 it'd have a hell of a lot of a torque and this motor's already pretty torquey for it for a 250 so and with with it right now it feels pretty dang torquey i can't wait to get better and go riding the trails um my knee is feeling a lot better though y'all it's still not i'm not there it, i don't want to take the chance uh going and riding in the trails i can't quite pivot my leg and do certain things as of right now if you didn't know i had a small micro tear in my uh, mcl and i strained my acl uh man it was horrible man absolutely horrible uh it just my leg felt like jello man like my kneecap my leg was all unstable i couldn't walk absolutely horrible most the shitty feeling i've heard a lot of things but i have to say hurting my knee has been the worst because you need it to do everything. If you can't walk, you're non-functionable. You break a finger or, or uh, you know, hurt your shoulder. I've, I've broke, separated my shoulder, broke fingers, all that stuff, man. You can still function, but when you hurt your knee, you can't walk. And it sucks. It sucks. This is my first knee injury. I did fracture my femur before, a slight fracture on my femur, which was really bad too but i have to say my knee is worse because i couldn't even walk for like the first week i couldn't even walk at all second week i could barely walk third week it was just like slow steady walk and now i'm getting back to just regular walking going on my fourth week so just getting back to steady walking and regular stuff uh you know regular stuff so which i'm happy i'm glad i don't need surgery as of right now uh i just don't want to do any damage further damage to it hopefully it heals right i do got to evaluate another evaluation in two weeks to check up on it to uh, make sure it's still looking good doc said i could do some little things though i went last back last week he checked out said things are looking good but uh i do got to build some definition back in my leg like i said my leg kind of like shrunk <laughs> from not being on it it's crazy i can feel it too i can look at it and tell but i got a full knee brace on with hinges in it and everything so keeps my knee pretty stable babes but um i am gonna look into getting some knee braces now uh i'm gonna see if my insurance will actually cover it or cover some of it i've been talking to my doctor <coughs> and they're gonna refer make a recommendation to see if my insurance will cover it or at least cover most of it so i want to get some some nice braces 
I had knee pads and shin pads, but I need something to keep my knee, my knee stable. I've heard all kinds of different things on them. Some people say they're bad. Some people say they're good. I say, well, shit, it can't hurt. It's better than nothing. But I've heard, I've read some stuff where some people say, well, you don't have the natural motion in your knee and you, your knee can fuck up in them. But I don't know, man. I, they, I've only heard a couple things on that. Most people say it, it saved their knee. So with me having a knee injury already now, I'm, uh, I'm not taking that chance. So I'm gonna buy me some nice knee braces and uh, try to, you know, keep my knees good, man. Cause I used to play a lot of sports when I was younger and I'm definitely feeling it as I get older. I used to play football. I played running back and played both ways, defense and, and offense, but mainly running back. But it's paid a toll on my knees and I've, I've just put a lot of damage on my knees over the years. I've done a lot of crazy shit. I'm a pretty wild motherfucker done a lot of stupid shit in my life but uh i'm getting to a point where i gotta really you know think about what i'm doing and ride kind of within my means and uh protect myself better so we're gonna do that i gotta listen to my loved ones too that care about me they don't want me getting hurt or i can't work and you know i got a daughter i gotta take care of so gotta be precautious or else I'm gonna get chewed out every day <laughs> but uh, yeah y'all just cruising around man just updating y'all I can't wait I've been it's been driving me crazy sitting in the house every day I haven't been doing nothing It feels good just to get on the street. I mean, I'm not doing anything with my leg. It's just like if I was, It's a, and it's my right knee, so I don't have to do anything. Um, it's not like I have to shift with it or anything. I'm mostly using front brake, not doing anything crazy. So it's just sitting on the foot peg, just sitting in one spot like if I was sitting on the couch.